I'm 37 years old. I have three children by a previous marriage. At the time when I had the tubal ligation, it was at towards the end of my previous marriage. I didn't foresee a future of getting married again. And so I went ahead with the procedure. My life has changed since I had the tubal ligation. Uh, I met someone that I just fell madly in love with. And he's really special. And we want to have our own children together now. And I, I'm so excited at the prospect of being able to reverse the, the tubal ligation that I had to begin with. Tubal ligation involves blocking the fallopian tubes. When women have this operation done, it's meant to be permanent. But sometimes their circumstances change, like in Deborah's case, and they want to get pregnant again. Fortunately, it's possible to remove the blocked part of the tube and reattach the remaining normal segments of tube. So, in fact, tubal ligation can be reversed. Let's take a look at Deborah's case. Each of her fallopian tubes has been closed in two places to ensure that the ovum and sperm can't meet so she can't become pregnant. In a woman with her fallopian tubes intact, during ovulation, an egg or ovum passes from the ovary into the fallopian tube where it is fertilized by a sperm. The zygote, as the fertilized egg is called, develops for about five days in the fallopian tube and then it is pushed down into the uterus where it attaches to the endometrium and Day grows. Of surgery, I felt like it had, hadn't even happened. The next day, I wasn't sore. I was a little sleepy, and I think that was probably from the anesthesia. But I felt really good, and even felt so good that the following week, I, I was out putting up a fence, literally, digging. I guess it was at the end of January that I actually got pregnant, or shortly thereafter. My last uh, period was January 25th. We went in and um, did a urinalysis and some blood tests, and they came back positive, and we went right over for the ultrasound, because our biggest concern was to make sure that uh, the pregnancy was not in the tubes. Deborah's pregnancy proves a tubal ligation can be successfully reversed. And thanks to the work of a skillful surgeon like Dr. Berger, Deborah and Paul are happily planning the arrival of the newest member of their family. With another successful operation, I'm Dr. Donna Willis for The Learning Channel.